Welcome to Finding the Voices. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are tuning in from. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, so today I am very, very excited. Uh, I have been looking forward for this show because I am going to be learning and I'm experiencing new technique. Um, it is the People of the World series where we have been continuing calling people from all over the world. And today we have a guest from London. We have Marina Paparaku from London. Um, and I am so excited for her to be here. She is a transformation coach, uh, specialized in RTT, EFT. Uh, she's a practitioner in that and a hypnotherapist. So let me quickly bring her website before I bring her up. She is the founder of Oceans of Peace, um, you know, which is the core of the well-being and transformation. And as you can see, uh, Marina is very, very passionate about helping people to feel healthier, happier, more fulfilled, and to live a life of peace and freedom. So I'm really looking forward today to be learning about more techniques and, uh, you know, which will equip us uh, to having a more peaceful and free life. All right, so with that, I am going to welcome Marina. Hey, Marina, hey, welcome, hello. welcome to our show. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. So nice yeah. to be here. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I know I told a little bit, I stole a little bit of your thunder because I got very really excited looking at your website. Um, oh, but you. let's start with um, your introduction. I really would love to understand, you know, how your journey got into uh, you founding Ocean of Peace into the line of, you know, transforming people. Um, so if we can start a little bit with that background and then, you know, we'll go into uh, other details of your work. Yes, yeah, sure. Um, like most of the people, I think they start first by trying to sort themselves out. Uh, I come from a background which was very, pretty volatile. My upbringing, my parents, it was, my dad was very much, very much an angry person. And as a little child, I was always very much involved in my parents' problems. So I would hear them arguing a lot and a lot of shouting. And to be honest, it was even worse than that. As a child, we don't know how bad or how not bad it is. So you think the worst. And as a child, I was always scared. My dad would kill my mum because he would just get so angry and shout and would get violent as well. So I was brought up with that. And... Um, it was quite a dysfunctional upbringing. And um, I think this made me always very thoughtful. I was always a very thoughtful kid. People always used to say, oh, you're so serious, Marina. And for some reason, I was very serious, but I think it kind of helped me a lot because it brought me on to being, trying to understand why I feel a certain way and how I can improve myself and how I can be happier. So I, I started reading psychology books from the age of 13. I was so interested, imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Boring teenager reading psychology books in the library. I was so excited with every book I would read. And um, yeah, that's how I started. So I ended up studying psychology and I was intending to become a psychotherapist, but I wasn't really too happy with all the approaches. You know, those days, maybe about it was two decades ago, they mostly had uh, talk therapy. You know, my uni was very psychoanalytical based, very CBT based, and it, I didn't feel drawn to that. So I actually went into something completely different. I decided not to train in psychotherapy and I went into holistic therapy. So I studied healing, crystal therapy, shamanic healing, lots of different things. And then I ended up going into reflexology, and I ended up um, becoming a remedial massage therapist. So uh, I've learned many different things. And I, it's quite nice because I see the human being. And I think that was one of the main reasons why I didn't really enjoy the psychological approaches those days. Because I always could see the human being on many levels, not just the mind, not just the body, but literally mind, body and spirit or soul. So I've literally trained in all of these 
areas really. So after the um, massage, I got into the EFT and hypnotherapy and literally coming back into the psychotherapy realm of things. Yeah. So, oh, so you kind of started from psychotherapy, you know, tried all different techniques and different ways, and now you're tying everything together. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Kind of coming come back to the psychology side again, which is my passion and always has been my passion. So, yes. And if, I found it quite nice because um, I've learned so many different techniques. As I said, I see the human being as many different levels, not just the body, not just the mind. And uh, it's nice to just learn. And combine different techniques yeah right so as you have learned you know all these different tools and technique can you share a little bit on how it has impacted you personally in you know in in, in any of the practice what you have been doing like if you can share a little bit on that yeah i think it was an accumulative journey like for everybody life is a journey right so i started with the energy healing and um well, from my childhood, literally my childhood was life in terror. You know, I was in terror every day, every night. I was lying in bed, listening, arguing, them arguing and feeling not so good about it. I would get even stomach cramps, headaches, you know, so it would even manifest in the physical. It was quite strong. I grew up to become a person who was very worried. I used to be worried about everything. I used to be literally small things, everything. And with all the techniques I've learned accumulatively, uh, I would say, yeah, now I, I hardly ever worry. I actually, you know, I saw, I looked at other people who walk through life, la la la, <laughs> and I don't worry, you know, and things fall into their laps, literally. Have you noticed? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I was in my early 20s and I looked at people, I think, hold on, this person, they just don't worry about things. They don't have a care in life. I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. somehow I thought, you know what, let me try this. I'm going to try and stop worrying. And somehow I kind of managed to calm myself down. And I thought, let me try it. And it actually worked. Yeah. <laughs> Life has become better. And then the more techniques I learned, obviously I first learned them to heal myself. I do believe, I'm a strong believer. First, look after yourself, heal yourself first, and then help other people. Because you want to work from a very... Um, integer type of place you know full of integrity and health you know to be centered in a stable position yourself so yeah to be honest now i mean we we in covid 19 times and um i can't really say that i've been feeling fearful or terror or anything my motto now is i don't live in fear right. so I feel peace, hence the name of my, my business, Oceans of Peace, because I would like to share that feeling with other people, to feel the inner peace, to not feel, you know, that anxiety, that anxiousness, that sadness and the worries and the problems from their difficult experiences that they have experienced in life. Yes, yeah, yeah. thank you for sharing. So, you know, when you talk about growing up in fear right because you had uh you're always like having angry people around you a um, lot of anger fighting shouting yelling and maybe even physical yeah. abuse going around you um so in your mind you know you are always scared um even if maybe the other situation in another situation it may not be that volatile and the reason why I mentioned this is for many of us and many people who are watching us, um, we know we have grown up in a very conflict situation, not only the com conflict of, you know, growing up with the fear of even going out freely. Like when I grew up in my hometown, I was allowed to go out only to the school and only places where, um, you know, it is required uh, for the fear that, you know, there would be a bomb blast or gunshot and you would be caught in, in the middle. And also, um, because of different layers of conflict, I also saw a lot of angry people around me. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a lot of um, shouting, yelling, which curbed my freedom to speak. So yeah. it yeah. was more like, 
okay, I would, it's better to keep quiet, right? Yes, yes, um, yes. similar to me, yeah. Yeah, and, and so my work and also my healing has really been for myself to come out of that and free myself to express yes um, to to share what we feel right without being fearful but also that background that we are very sensitive um you know and have that pull back because of the background we all grew up and also um even in schools or college you know the way the teaching system i grew up was more like a download from the teacher Mm -hmm. right the teacher would just say and we were not really given an opportunity or encouraged to speak out our mind or yeah. there was you know not really that opportunity um so when you say that right like hey um i grew up with that and i learned all these different tools um which helped me come out of it and i can live a life without fear or even if fear comes up I know how to manage and control. Yes, absolutely. Right. And, life. Yeah, we're all humans. Yeah, and that's where um, I got, you know, very interested uh, about yes. you, and hence we are here, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> so thank you for sharing that. All right, so uh, if we can talk a little bit, you know, focus about the different techniques, uh, what you have learned. Um, so you spoke about the EFT. Do you want to talk a little bit about the EFT? Yeah, sure. EFT. So EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques. And it was originally devised by Gary Craig. He, um, he took a system from Roger Callahan, who devised thought field therapy, TFT. And um, uh, Roger Callahan, he was a clinical psychologist, and he actually had amazing results with tapping on acupressure points. And um, he would actually devise a system with different points for different people. But Gary Craig, who, who came up with the EFT, he streamlined the system and he created like one sequence that works for everybody and every problem. So it's a much easier system. So yeah, it works through, it, it has two components, the psychological components, we use words to tune into our issue. And the physical components, we tap on acupressure points. And um, so it's a combination of the ancient Chinese system of acupressure and acupuncture and psychology, really. It's literally like psychological acupressure, but we don't use needles. Mm. And, or it's like counseling, but we, we use, we draw in the body as well, because in counseling is normally more talking. Mm. Because, you know, recent trauma research, they have uncovered that trauma very much, or, you know, experiences are in our body not just in the mind so eft is amazing because it has you know it works through those two components for example being a remedial massage therapist as well um i remember years ago i had a few clients who'd say oh you know when i massage in certain areas on their backs or wherever they would say oh marina when you do this specific area tears are welling up why is this oh yes. yeah interesting and i said to them you see all our experiences are stored in our body in our mus muscles so by me touching certain areas it might activate certain feelings uh, that have to do with your experiences so our body is a storage system for all our experiences and all the trauma and and you know good and and difficult experiences mm. so yeah so hence eft is a very good system because it works on both those layers Okay, so before we go into um, the details, you know, one of the things which popped up in my head when you're talking about our emotions and feelings being, I guess, in our system, in our body physically, right? Yes. Um, mostly, I guess, um, hard emotions. So is it... Like, how do you process that so that, you know, when you go through certain, um, you know, in the past, I can understand that we have it in the body and we use certain techniques to release it, right? Yes, but moving yes. forward, how do you ensure that, you know, you don't accumulate those energy in your body? Um, with EFT, you're talking or generally? Yes, generally. By using certain techniques, by, by, for example, using EFT or even RTT, I know you're an RTT mm -hmm. therapist, we rewire the nervous system. Yes. So 
uh, all this, these experiences, they're stored in our nervous system. Our nervous system is kind of trained to react to those old experiences. So it's kind of like, like a reaction, a response to old experiences, but we're having them in the current time, in the present time. So we, we have to stop that cycle. We have to stop that, you know, um, like these old nerve wirings and rewire our nervous system to not run those pathways anymore. So instead of running this side, it's running that side. So EFT, for example, or RTT or hypnotherapy um, can do that, you know, so it rewires the whole nervous system. It's not just, oh yeah, let go of the old experience because by whatever we experience, it has an impact on our body and our nervous system. It's, it's a part, an integral part in our nervous system. It's a visceral experience. Hence, so much it's in the body. Hence, rec over your recent years, so many therapies have come up with, um, you know, like somatic experiencing or other types of therapies going through the body. Yeah. So talking is not just enough. So we literally rewire our nervous system. And with EX EFT specifically, it calms down the amygdala in the brain, which is the stress center, the fight or flight response center. So it down-regulates the response, the stress response. And it calms down the nervous system. So it um, activates the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the calming, the soothing nervous system. And it deactivates the sympathetic nervous system, which is the arousal nervous system, the fight or flight system. So, yeah, we rewire the nervous system. So we, we go through, uh, it's literally like changing a habit. We create different habits of the nervous system, yeah. you know, so we act differently. Because what, like, you know, sometimes things happen when we're not in that stress kind of energy, stress response anymore, we re respond and we react with more peace, with more rationality. Because if we have that attachment still, that emotional attachment to the past, the past experiences, emotion always overrules the critical mind, as mm -hmm. we all know. Right. Right. <laughs> so what we do, we cut that you know, we leave that in the past because it's a reaction to the past and we create new healthy responses and a new healthy way of the nervous system and the body to react to the current experiences. Right. And and I think that's where like the EFT comes into picture, right? Because most, many people, um, you know, who are watching our show and many has mm -hmm. asked like, okay, so what do I do? I understand all this theory like of controlling the mind, but you know, sometimes yeah. I am in a position wherein I am anxious, I am in fear, and I know that I'm aware and I want, I want to get out of that. What do I do? And I felt that, you know, EFT is so great. And yes. so if you can talk a little bit on that and also yeah. give a demo uh, for it. Yeah, sure. Are you happy to do it with me? Yes. I am. Yes. <laughs> All right. So what we do, so if if we feel something in our body, something coming up, an emotion, we can work uh, on all sorts of things with EFT. Um, for self-help, self it's great to work on our emotions. But in, in a wider sp scope, we can work on anxiety, phobias, depression, limiting beliefs. Um, there's so many ways of using it. But it's amazing, very simple as a self-help tool. That's why it's so great. And it's very powerful. So um, what we can do if we feel something, we can just go through the sequence, the EFT protocol, and it will calm down the response. So shall I just go through the points? I explain the points. That, so we tap on certain points. Yes. Yeah. 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 So yeah. So go ahead and explain the points. And then yeah. after that, you know, we can do it. Together. Yes. And then we can do it together. Yeah. So we start with the karate chop point. You can use okay. all four fingers to just tap it lightly. Yeah, that's yep. fine. And then we move on to the eyebrow. Okay. So it's the beginning of the eyebrow. Okay, yeah. So like this. Yeah, so the beginning, right next to the bridge of the eye. Oh, sorry, the nose. Okay. Can you see it like here? Here? Am I yeah, doing right it right? The, yeah, right at the beginning. So just where the eyebrow starts, this point. So just okay. tap that with two fingers. Okay. And then we move to the side of the eye. You follow the socket of the, the ridge of the bone. Mm -hmm. And then just tap on the ridge. Can you feel that ridge? Yeah. 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 And then again, we follow the ridge again, the eye socket, underneath the eye. Okay. So right here. Yeah? Yeah. That yeah. Looks good. And then the next one is under the nose. Okay. 
And all these points we tap for about seven times. And then underneath the mouth, like on the chin, in the kind of dip. Okay, so right yeah. And then this might be a little bit funny to find. So we, we look for our collarbone, which is kind of right next to the throat. Mm -hmm. And then you move one inch down and one inch out. So it's kind of like underneath the apex of the triangle in the collarbone. Yeah, kind of here. Okay. Yeah, and just you can use all your four fingers. Okay. Because it's a big area. If it's difficult to find, some people make a light fist and just tap it lightly like that. But I prefer okay. to do it like this. Yeah, it's a bit nicer. So right underneath, maybe. Yeah, I like the fingers. Arm. Yeah, I like the fingers too. So maybe a little bit lower for you, or is it just look? Yeah, but it's it's not too too important. It still works. So okay, anywhere around here. And the next point, let me just actually move this. You put one hand on your shoulder, and then you can reach out to the underneath the arm. Okay. And it's about four inches underneath the armpit, or ten centimeters. With ladies, it's about where the bra strap is. Okay. With men, it's about where the nipple would be, the same line. Okay. Yeah? And then, some people do this point, the head point. Okay. Not everybody does it, but we can do it if you want to. So these are the points. And then we stop and relax and then just take a deep breath in. How does that feel to you? So, yeah, I think I was focusing more on the technique. Yeah, on the points. That's yeah, fine. We just want to But fine. do we, like, when you spoke about emotional, so do we focus on if I'm feeling angry? Yes, we, but, we're just going to yeah. do that now. So okay. um, if you want to choose something, we're going to add the words. The words are there to help us to tune into the emotion. And okay. you can also focus on where it is in your body. So I would suggest if you want to do it now, we can, you could choose something, you know, like a slight irritation, nothing too deep. We don't want to go too deep in, in the frame <laughs> of this <laughs> talk here now. Um, just maybe like some everyday annoyance, like maybe something with work or some person didn't call you or somebody jumped the queue in the coffee shop or, you know, something small, you know, some slight irritation or anger or anything. Is okay. there anything that you can think of? Um, I can think of, yeah, I, I mean, I was telling you about the show I just, you know, did. Um, I think it's not anger that I feel, but it's more hurt about the comments, what people can pass to judge somebody without knowing them. So um, I feel that even though it is not directed to me. Yes. Um, I feel that. So how would you call it? You, you would say hurt about injustice um, to the people or? Yeah, so I would call it, um, yeah, I think it's a mix of hurt and anger um, to people okay. who I feel are bullies. Okay, so. We are. Let's especially so let's, yeah. Let's take one. a generic yeah. Let's take a generic statement about people who who bullies in social media that really make me angry. Okay, is there somebody specific you can think of? You don't have to talk about it, but just if you think of it, just to yes. bring it up. Yeah. Okay. So yes. you can think in your mind, and people who are watching, you can think in your mind about your own issues. You can choose your own. Uh, you know, little irritation or anger or anything, and you can tap with us as we're doing it now. So yeah. you can use your own words. So if you, for example, um, uh, the viewers, if uh, you are irritated about your colleague not calling you, you know, let's say he's called John, um, you can say this irritation about John not calling me or whatever you, you choose to work on. So as we're talking with our words, you can use your words. So you can tap right with us as we're doing it now. And as we are tuning in, we're saying the details of the issue of the problem. So it sounds a bit negative. So sometimes people say, oh, why do you keep talking about the negative? It's not good, is it? We want to be positive, which in normal talk therapy might be true or in normal circumstances. But in 
EFT, as we're talking about things, because we're tapping through the points, we're actually releasing the emotional charge. So we're clearing it, you know, we're down regulating the emotion and the stress response. So that's what we're doing. So hence, we talk about the negative because at the, we don't just talk about it, we actually process it. And yeah, exactly. It and I body. think that brings me to my question, right? Like about, okay, we know about the past, how to heal it with other technique. And now we are talking about moving forward in our present life. How do we ensure that we don't, you know, put those energy in our body and have pain points so what you are telling me and what you're explaining is, you know, e, uh, EFT, when we are feeling angry or whatever emotions we have, we are going to talk about it because we are going to process it and, you know, yes, yes. send it out. Yeah, absolutely. It okay. releases blocked emotions from the body, literally. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, right. so I would like to focus because you mentioned angry and hurt, I think, is it? Yes. Um, I would like you to focus on one. It's best to focus on one aspect. So uh, which one do you want to choose? I think, yeah. Let me choose hurt. Hurt, okay. Yes. So you hurt, hurt about a bully. We don't need to say names or anything. You, you In your head, you know who it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah? Okay. And so that's step one. Step one is to choose what do you want to work with. Step two, we uh, measure how strong is this feeling. So you're talking about hurt. Other people at home who are watching this, you can use other emotions that you want to work with. So we're using a scale from zero to 10, whereas zero is non-existent and 10 is the strongest this feeling could be. So how much does this bother you? How strong would you rate this feeling from zero to 10? Um, so because I guess I have been working on this a little bit right now, today mm -hmm. as it stands, it's not that high. Okay. Uh, but I would rate it still it bothers me so five yeah five is high enough yeah okay. okay so what we do we have uh, two types of statements we have a setup statement um we say this three times as we're tapping on this point so we say even though even though i feel hurt by this bully i feel hurt by this bully i accept myself anyway i accept myself anyway so we're combining the issue with a positive statement so to balance it as well. Okay. So let's repeat that again. We're doing it all overall three times. Even though I have I, this hurt about the bully. Even though I have this hurt about the bully. I accept myself anyway. I accept myself anyway. Even though I feel this hurt by this bully. Even though I feel this hurt by this bully. I accept myself anyway. I accept myself anyway. So then we go through the points and we say a reminder phrase, which would be this problem. So you would say this hurt by the bully or this hurt I'm feeling. Yeah. Other people can use whatever they chose to work on. So we start again with this point. Okay. This hurt I'm feeling. 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 And just finish off on top of the head. This hurt I'm feeling. This hurt I'm feeling. And relax and take a deep breath in. Okay, so now step three, we measure again. How would you rate it now from zero to 10? So, Has it changed? Is it the same? So when you, I, I have a question. So when you say this hurt I'm feeling, when we are working on it specifically, should I be calling out that particular instance? You can. You can in your mind or think of that person. Yeah. Okay. So you think about that person and what they did and yeah. think about that feeling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah. I did that. I did that. I did that. Yes. Yeah. 
if you want, it, it's just now, I don't want to go into details because you might not want to say names and situations and things. But if you do it by yourself, you can actually say all the details as you're tapping. Okay. You know, you know, but they does it do. have to be the same words? No, you can say your own words. Like you can be specific, more specific to say what they did or what happened, even if you want to. As long okay. as you mention the feeling that it that it gives you. Got it. You know? So, and as long as you mention, feeling, so yeah. is this like just let me help me express it to help me understand how I can phrase it and also for our viewer? Yes. This hurt I'm feeling because of the words you have used. Yes. This hurt I'm feeling because of that thread you're using yes you can change the words yeah okay. as long as you stay with the hurt yeah don't Got stop it. with anger or anything so Got it. because of what you said yes because of how it made me feel you okay. know so i keep hurt. saying like yeah this hurt yeah i'm just keeping it simple and basic now for people yeah. to be able to follow but Got you it. can use your own words if it feels right or if anything comes up that you want to say yes absolutely say it you know as okay. long as you don't jump emotions yeah Got no, it. we need to stick with the one thing that we work on to keep it clean. Yeah. yeah? yeah. So how would you rate it now from zero uh, to ten? Yeah, I, I as I was tapping, yeah. I saw it in my mind and it got me more clarity of the hurt. Right. You know, like when I started saying yes. the words. Yes. Um the threads. So it made me more defined into Yes, we're tuning um, in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did it, did it become stronger then? Because that can happen because we're tuning into something. Yeah. Like it became more um, active, I guess. Okay. Just so like how would you rate it, it now? Okay. How would you rate um, it? Yeah, it is active because I am thinking about it, but it's not like, you know, my heart. Yeah. Is so um, I don't know. Okay. I don't know if it reduces. Whatever, whatever comes to you, even if it's the same, that's fine. Yeah. So let's say it's the same. Okay. So let's do because we need to do more rounds. So let's do it again. Yeah. So okay. do, are you happy to say this hurt I'm feeling yes. about the body? Let's try yeah? it okay. so that we can learn. Okay. You can think your own, you know, stuff, or if you want to say your own words, you can, yeah. you know, expand a bit if you're happy okay. to say. Okay. So even though I'm still feeling this hurt about this bully, even though I'm still feeling this hurt about this bully i'm okay anyway i'm okay anyway even though i'm still feeling this hurt about this bully even though i'm feeling this hurt about this bully i'm okay, okay. anyway yeah i'm okay anyway okay, even sorry. Though, no no it's fine whatever feels better to you yeah even though i'm still feeling this hurt about this bully even though i'm still feeling this hurt about this bully i'm okay anyway I'm okay anyway. It's okay, I feel like this. It's okay, I feel like this. I accept myself anyway. I accept myself anyway. Okay, and then going through the points. This hurt I feel. This hurt I feel. This bully really hurt me. This bully really hurt me. This hurt I feel about this bullying. This hurt I feel about this bully. I don't like bullying. I don't like bullying. This hurt I'm feeling. This hurt I'm feeling. This hurt I'm feeling. This hurt I'm feeling. Thinking of this bully makes me feel hurt. Thinking of this bully makes me hurt. This hurt I'm feeling. This hurt I'm feeling. It hurts me. It hurts me. And take a deep breath in. And just tune in to how you feel now. And just whatever number comes from zero to ten. Just allow yourself to feel into your body. I like that when you said I like myself anyway. I felt when I said that I mm. shifted a little yes. bit. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I felt that I was able to smile yes like, i could see that yes so that, that's shifting already yes yeah i was able to smile like yeah i mean yeah even if you hurt me yeah when i think about this bully it hurts me 
I like myself. Exactly. So it's almost already reframing. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and how, oh, yeah. how do you feel? I would rate three. I think like I three, can see three. that jump five to three. Yeah. So five to three. And we normally would do this until we go down to zero or as close to zero. Got yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So that's how it works. And so then I think it's the power in the words, what you use. And also, like you said, um, you know, always use the word of the feeling, right? Feeling with a positive uh, affirmation. In, in the yeah, setup statement, when we do this, yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. So you can say, I'm okay. I'm okay anyway. It's yeah. okay. I feel this way. I yeah. accept myself anyway. Uh, in America, they love saying, I love and accept myself anyway. I deeply, <laughs> <laughs> in America, I deeply love and accept myself, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But um, some people hesitate to say this because they don't feel it. So mm. it's a bit counteractive. So I prefer to use, I accept myself or it's okay. I feel like this, depending. Yeah. Um, and, you know. I, I mean, I think what you're saying is that, you know, there is no sentence that, hey, you have to use this. No. You have to use the sentence what you truly feel yes. and relate to. You can't like, you absolutely. know, if, if you're not there yet to say that I love myself, then yeah, you, you should be saying it. Okay, got it. Yeah, this is yes. awesome. Yes. So it's quite simple. So you could do, maybe maybe you could do one or two more rounds and it would take you down to zero. Okay. And then you think, we test, then you think of that incidence again and see how you feel. You know, how do I rate it? Oh, it's not bothering me anymore. Oh, it really bothers me only a little bit. So that's how it works. And then that's the basic recipe. So after people take it down, sometimes uh, positive reframes come up. So actually, um, you know, like maybe in your example, <coughs> feelings start coming up like, say, yeah, I'm okay. I love myself anyway. I don't really care what people do. Doesn't yeah. mean anything, you know, and then things come up, more sentences come up and you can actually use them as you're tapping. So okay. we move from the negative to the positive. But that comes later. We need to tap down, you know, down regulate first, okay. the negative. And then you can, if anything positive comes up, you can you can go more into that and actually strengthen that as you're tapping that. Okay. Through, you know? All right. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and I know that, you know, I uh, would love to experience the whole thing, but I do want to cover your other techniques yes. so that yes. we all learn. Uh, but yeah, I do see the great potential of, you know, when we are in that very angry or, you know, very emotional state, you know, yeah. take a time out. Yeah. And then, you know, you can lock yourself in your room or wherever. Yeah. Go to the bathroom. Yeah. 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 At work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say to my clients, if you need to go to the bathroom at work, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Or even, you know, it's great to do this five to ten minutes every day, like brushing your teeth. Okay. It can really give us a, a, a peaceful baseline, you know, over time. It okay. really helps to rewire our nervous system. Okay, so what do you mean when you say like do it every day? What if like I don't have a, you know, extreme situation every day like as yeah. a practice? Like then what would you focus on? It could be anything like oh I'm not motivated to do mm. you know this task anything mm. you know I okay. woke up and I feel a bit ah oh, you know or oh, anything even if you can't put it to words you say ah oh, even though I feel ah oh, today yeah. anything you know it doesn't have to be strong traumatic issues you know yeah. so, so what i'm hearing is you know the points what you showed that is yeah. the you know points which are important in bringing you know that yeah. balance yeah. in our nervous system yes, that acupressure points yeah. so they balance our system yeah okay good cool. yeah so you also mentioned uh, about the trauma tapping can trauma you tapping technique yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a, a specific technique it's, it's stemming from eft as I said earlier, so many people have taken, you know, the EFT and they've done their own, you know, swing on it. And there's so many different techniques. Um, this technique uh, was created by Gunilla Hamna and Uli Sandström in Sweden. And they've taken the EFT and they work a lot with um, people who have been through a lot of trauma, people in war zones. They've taken their, their protocol to war zones, to refugee centers. And that technique doesn't use words because it's used with people who are very traumatized and who are in the state. So they don't need to tune in. It's also good for people who are 
in in an acute state of shock or very strong emotion for example even for people in normal societies um you just got made redundant you just found out or you just come home and you see there's a burglary somebody burgled your home so you're in that state so you don't need to use the words to tune in because you're in that emotion it's very strong it's like washed over you right you it's so all over you you can't tune out so you don't need the words you know so if anything traumatic happens as an acute situation you can use this you know for strong emotions but to be honest you can even use it for every day even this one can be done every day it's very simple because you okay. don't use the words yeah you don't if need you, the words just follow yeah. like the points what you have yes yeah. So if you find it too complicated with the words, just do this one. So I wanted to give two, two different experiences yeah. for people to yeah. choose which one they prefer. Shall we just do that? And I'll show you how to do that briefly. Yes. Yeah? yes, let's do it. So you seem pretty relaxed. I mean, you can still uh, focus maybe on that same issue again in your mind, because obviously we, we're not in a traumatic situation here. So you're pretty relaxed at the moment. If you want to focus on that, you can do that, you know, yeah. um, and we can work on that, but you don't have to talk about it. So what we do that, so I would like you to just, and everybody who's watching at home, please just follow with us. And we start taking a deep breath in and doing that three times. So deep breathing in through your nose and release through the mouth. And one more time. And we're starting tapping with one hand. Going through the points. Under the nose. The chin. collarbone points and Gunilla and Ulf they actually do the whole chest the sternum is the thymus gland is good for the immune system strengthening the system so you can do you know it doesn't matter where exactly just be really relaxed about it and just feel that peace coming over you okay and then we do the underarm and then they use uh, finger points I'll show you um, can you see <laughs> yeah. well, the top of the thumb right next to the nail bed okay yeah so yep. hold your hand like this and we start here oh yeah Place the top okay. yeah and then we just move along the fingers right next to the nail bed always the top and the ring finger this point actually is on the underside but people do this top as well just to make it easier it still works so we stay there on the top and the little finger and then we do the karate chop point again and we do the chest again the collarbone points the thymus gland Okay, and just relax and take a deep breath in three times. And we did do, then we do the same again on the other side. So we're using the, the other hand to tap. So I'm tapping on my other hand. Same thing again, karate chop point, and the eyebrow, side of the eye, under the eye. Under the nose. Chin. Uh, 
and the collarbone and the whole chest and thymus, sternum. I'm trying to not disturb the uh, earphones to make funny noises. <laughs> And then we use the other side of the arm, the one that we didn't tap on before. And we tap on the other hand. So, yeah, I think I used the other, this one, yeah. So the one that you didn't do before. I think it's this one for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then just go along the top. Middle finger, ring finger, and little finger, and karate chop, and back to the collarbone and chest. Just in the whole area. It's very good to release anxiety at this point. And then just relax. And take a deep breath in again three times through your nose. And again. And just sense into your body, how do you feel? I felt, I felt a release. Towards the end, right? When you started yeah, deep yeah. breathing, yes, I saw yeah, that. I really like that. Yeah. So, can we tap for other people? Like, you know, if I am with somebody, say, you know, my mom or someone who is yes i'm in the verge of having like a high bp and i'm trying to calm her down yeah instead of giving the instruction can we do on her behalf yeah you can do like to do you mean on her body or, or? Yeah, on her body. oh yes you can yeah okay yeah like some therapists actually i prefer letting people tap themselves for them to learn it and to embody yeah. it more but some people, yeah, you can, or I, I do it on my clients when they have like a strong reaction, so they don't say words, so I just tap on them, calm them down. So yeah, you can do it on, on other people. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you can sit next to your mom and just say, mom, let me try something, yeah. something really nice, yeah. Okay, cool, yeah, thank you for that. And also I wanted to mention and share to everybody that uh, uh, Marina and me, you know, we are colleagues and, you know, we are both RTT practitioner. And one day I had a case which was, um, which was a very difficult case wherein we went, you know, deep and we found the cause to be a sexual abuse case uh, within the own family. And when I came out from that session, I felt um, so heavy. And that's when I shared in our group, like, hey, you know, that's what I'm feeling. And Marina had, um, you know, shared about uh, EFT and, you know, like gave me video. And yeah, so I'm so thankful for you to be sharing that, hey, you know, when you are in that situation, you can protect your boundary uh, by mm -hmm. using this technique. Yes, you can release even other people's energies and your own things. Yeah. Yes, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased to be here with you. I love your genuine heart and I know you really, really want to help people. It so comes across, you know, it's so lovely to see people like that. Yeah, thank you so much. So do you want to share to our listeners on, you know, how they can uh, contact you? I know we have shared uh, your website and, you know, what are the services you offer uh, for any of our listeners who are interested, you know, in the demo, what Marina had shown, and also we didn't speak much about RTT, but RTT is such a powerful uh, mm. technique which we go deep into our subconscious mind and, you know, clearing the block and starting uh, reinstalling, uh, rewiring our brain um, mm. to perform. And I call my group like high achiever that we can, we have the ability in within us to pursue what we want and be the high achiever, what we want and achieve any goals. 
Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. You're amazing yeah. with your work. <laughs> so, do you want to share about yeah. your... Yeah. You can contact me, uh, you can email me through marina at oceansofpeace.com or you can just go through my website oceansofpeace.com and there is a contact page and there's my details as well, you know, my email yeah. and number. So this is the website, I'm resharing it again and let's go over it a little bit. I work a lot with confidence issues, with anxiety. Quite, yeah, quite a lot of my clients have these kind of issues. Yeah. But there's many more issues that people can present with. So, yeah, just contact me and inquire. Yeah, confidence, self esteem, mm -hmm. depression, addiction, stress, anxiety, phobias. Oh, this is so sweet. It's possible <laughs> to overcome adversity, trauma, limiting belief. If I can do it, you can do it too. Yes. It's true. Yes. Because yes. the thing is, some, some people believe they can't overcome this, but it's not correct, you know. So yes. it is possible. It is possible. I want to carry that message out there to people that there is hope, you know, and we can help ourselves. You right. know? And it is possible to overcome difficult experiences. Yeah, and a big shout out to Marissa Pierre yes. for sharing her yeah. knowledge and Our to with us. Amazing therapy, yes. Big shout out to Marissa. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> Absolutely. She's yeah, such so, an teacher. And yeah, so I, I know that, like, you know, today we covered only a few techniques, but as you can see, uh, you know, Marina has been trained in a lot of uh, different techniques. And now that she knows all the different tools and technique, uh, depending on the client, what issues or what problem they are trying to overcome, you choose and tweak yes. and, you know, yes. Um, yes. help them uh, yeah. get to that state um, yeah. the best way I can help them yeah yeah so thank you so much Mina for you're being very welcome you. thank you for having me it's such an honor and such a pleasure I think you're doing amazing work and you're so passionate about helping people and helping people back home and I think the TTT the trauma tapping technique would be amazing yes. for that yes. environment and you can bring that over there with your big heart you know and your beautiful energy I love it. Oh. That's why I wanted to teach that as well, because I think yeah. that would be good. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I was uh, actually wanting um, to have interaction with our high achiever team with you, uh, unfortunately, because of mm -hmm. the time difference. But I know that in future there will be an opportunity and we will collaborate and work together more. That's true. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much, Marina. You're very welcome. Thank you. Yeah. All have right. a lovely day, everybody. Yeah, thank you everyone for watching. And, you. Um, you know, as Marina has said, many of us, even myself, we have all gone through personal growth. And sometimes when we are at that dark spot, um, when we are in the rock bottom, when we are in that fearful state, um, we think that we are alone, but we are not alone. There are a lot of resources out there. There are a lot of tools which can be as easy as tapping, mm -hmm. right? So Absolutely. just being equipped with that tool and using it at the time can bring a change, can shift you um, and take you out from that dark place. So, um, you know, to everybody uh, out there, uh, you know, do check out all the resources. There are a lot of tools and techniques and uh, you know, we are all meant to uh, come here in this universe and uh, explore and have a very uh, nice, wonderful uh, life here. So let's do that. With yes, that, let's go. I will end the show. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye.